Hello everyone, I just wanted to give a quick update and some guidance on how you can prepare for our upcoming live stream. In this video, I'm gonna go through all of the different things that we're going to do in this live stream. And I'm also going to let you know how best to set up your computer so you can be best prepared to just dive in and start following along with the code as we do the live stream. So what we're gonna be teaching in this live stream is how to deploy a Django application to AWS LightSail containers. So we're gonna go through all of the things that most people want when they want to deploy a Django website to the internet. It's gonna include a very simple Django website that we're gonna build. We're gonna handle static and media files using AWS S3 buckets. So you'll be able to get all of the static and media files and you'll be able to create an app where users can upload files or images to the application. We're going to integrate with a Postgres database. So you're gonna be able to store persistent data for your application. And we're also going to enable and test out the Django admin. So you're gonna get all of the main features that you would need when you're deploying a Django app. So before the stream, I recommend you prepare the following. So the first thing is sign up for an AWS account. It's useful to have an AWS account already ready to go, registered. I think it needs your credit card information and stuff, but you can sign up to AWS free trials. There will be some charges for following the steps in the course. They will be AWS charges. It won't be a huge amount. It might be between 20 to $30 a month at most, and that's if you leave the application running. So if you just wanted to follow along the course, then it won't cost that much to run it. It should only cost a few dollars because you can just shut down all of the services after. But I should stress that students are responsible for their own AWS payments. When you've set up your AWS account and you've registered, I recommend if you can set up an IAM user. So if you log into your AWS account, you'll be able to create an IAM user that is an administrator user in order to authenticate. Now this is just really best practice. You can get around with not doing this and I'll just, I'll give a brief intro into how to do this when we start the stream. So don't worry if you don't know how to do it, but if you do know how to do it, then go ahead and get that AWS account set up and also create that IAM user. I also recommend before the stream that you install the following on your machine. So Docker Desktop. It's very important that you have Docker and Docker Compose installed on your machine. Now there are various ways to do this. The easiest way is to use Docker Desktop, which you can download from the Docker website and it is free for personal use. There are other ways to install it like the Kalima for Mac OS. If you wanna use something like that, then feel free to use that. Just make sure that you can run the Docker and Docker Compose commands on your local machine before the stream. I'm gonna put a link to all of the different URLs that you'll need to install this. So you can go through and do all of them. You're also gonna to need to have the AWS CLI installed. I'll put a link on how to do that. There's instructions on the AWS website. And in addition, you're gonna need something called the AWS LightCell Container Services Plugin. So this is a plugin that you can install into the AWS CLI that lets you push containers or push images, I should say, up to AWS LightCell. So you're gonna to wanna to have that installed. Again, I'll put all of the links in the live stream description. You're also gonna to wanna to have some way to authenticate with AWS. I recommend using AWS Vault, which is an open source tool provided by 99designs. And this is a really useful tool for authenticating with your AWS IAM user. It lets you store all of your credentials securely on your local machine and then authenticate when you need to. Please make sure that you check out the scheduled live stream and subscribe to it on YouTube so that you get notified when the live stream starts. So if you have any questions, then feel free to put them in the comments of this video. I'll have a look through them before we do the live stream so that I can have an opportunity to respond to some of you if you have questions. Also, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll get notified when the live stream starts. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the live stream.